This is how I make humanized chord progressions using pad performance mode on a Kai MPC. In today's example, I will be using Granny Piano from Wupac MPC expansion. In another example, I will be using the key group name Tamir Rice out of the D's Keys 2 MPC expansion. In a blank sequence, set the bars to 4 bars. On the track, select the key group icon instead of the default drum program. In the key group program section, select the granny piano. If you do not see the 16 pad icon for pad performance mode, make sure to hide the effects section by pressing the eyeball icon in the upper left hand corner. Now with the sound selected go into pad perform mode on the right hand side of the key group program section. In pad performance mode, select progressions. Double tap on the chord drop down menu. If there is a back arrow, press it until you get to the root of your progressions. Scroll down to so 100 and enter the folder. Here we have over 100 custom made chord progressions found inside of the Chord Lord MPC progressions on so100.com. I'm going to select number 46. Back in the main window, I'm going to turn on the metronome. Now I'm going to come up with a progression in the piano roll in order to show you what's happening under the hood. Notice how every note is the color red, meaning each note was played at maximum velocity. In this case, it's because the full level button is pressed, so no matter how hard or soft I hit the pad, it will all register as full level. I purposely pressed the full level button to bring it to your awareness that it exists. Some people use it to get the maximum volume for drums and leave it on. Some of us are heavy handed and may get this result just by playing the pads naturally. In order to get every note to play half of the full volume, hold shift and press full level or simply double tap full level. This means no matter how hard or soft you hit the pads, it will always be half volume. This gives us the headroom to humanize the velocity. I'm going to add four more bars and create the same progression. Except this time I will record at half volume by double tapping the full level button You can hear the dynamic difference already, but we are not done humanizing yet. Now I'm going to copy the last four bars and paste it so we can hear the velocity humanized first. With the bars selected, go back to the main screen and press the pencil icon on the track. We want to select the robot head to humanize. In the humanize window, we have four options. Humanize time, length, velocity, and the fourth option is to apply the settings to all notes or only the selected notes. Let's start with the humanize velocity by checking the box. The input filter is how much percent above and below the current volume it will randomize the velocity. I chose 27 meaning it will randomize the notes but only up to 27% louder and softer. Check the box only apply to selected notes. Press do it and go back to the piano roll. Now when we look at the notes we see different shades of orange meaning the velocities are random now. Let's hear the difference with random velocity. To get the full effect, 
With the third progression selected, raise the volume of the group of notes until some of them start to turn red. I'm going to copy the progression one more time and humanize the start times of the notes so they are not all hitting at the same time. Back in the humanize window, select humanize time and uncheck the velocity so that it does not do another velocity process. The amount of pulses I like to use is a bit more than a 64th note for slight variation, or I choose a bit less than a 16th note for more swing. The eagerness is set pretty high to usually after the beat, drunk, or all the way up to always embarrassingly late. Press do it and hear the results. If you go to far you can always undo, or you can add on to what you have already humanized. I like to play with a setting, then pressing apply instead of do it. This leaves you inside the humanize window to undo and adjust on the fly as much as you like until you get it right. After a few undo and settings tweak, I have a decent result. I didn't mess with note length because I like the sustain of my notes overlapping for this example. With what I just showed you, I'm going to quickly put together a chord progression and humanize it as it's playing. You will see I try a setting then undo if I don't like it and try another setting. I am exaggerating the settings so you can hear what's happening, then I'm pressing undo and scaling back on the values until I land on something decent. For you, adjust to taste, and don't be afraid to experiment. The sounds used in this video are, Granny Piano from Wu Pack, and Tamir Rice from D's Keys 2. The progressions are from the Chord Lord MPC progressions on So100.com. If you like the video and want to see more content like this, like and share the video, talk to me in the comments and don't forget to subscribe.